They're off taking Kiwi for a walk. Come on then. He's got a horseshoe cutting. Come on. Leave it there, you little bugger. It's been raining today. That's not so nice. Oh, female pheasants. Well, you can't eat it now. We're going for a walk. Leave it till we get back. Try and get under the electric fence now. Come on this way. Good boy. Leave it. Come on. It's got all overgrown all of a sudden. Since lockdown's lifted, people aren't walking as much. Pretty flowers. It was funny though, because when we first came to the workshop at the beginning of lockdown, you didn't see anybody, not one soul, walking along here. Come on, you go in front. Go on in. And then when they said that people could start going for a walk for an hour's daily exercise, you couldn't move. It was like Piccadilly Circus down here. People on bikes, people jogging, people walking. We had to keep leaving his walk till later and later in the day. Because as you can see, you can't social distance from here. But now everybody's uh, taken that lockdown's over, I suppose. They've all buggered off and we can walk along here quite peacefully again during the day. I've had to put me I've had my flip flops on for the last god month or so. I've had to put my blinking boots on again today. There's normally weird sheep in that field but they're not there today. Are you struggling Kiwi? Are you struggling? <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I can see a male pheasant in the distance. Don't know if you can see. There's loads of them around here. I've been watching baby bunnies all morning in between polishing in the van and tidying up. Getting his lordship some lunch. Oh, midges. <laughs> this is a walk that we went on on one of our first videos. I don't think it was quite so overgrown. First time I've remembered to bring my phone out with me in months. Well, weeks. He's still got that bloody bit of horseshoe in his gob. It's funny because you hear all these noises. I can hear male pheasants, I can hear female pheasants. The other day we came back from a walk and we could hear a fox barking, they make a weird noise. And this was during the day, normally you only hear them at night. But I don't know if it was because Kiwi had put his scent down and the fox was 
trying to scare him off. Lots of holly. Be good for Christmas. Now, if we had a log burner, <laughs> we could chop that up. But we haven't. We've got a diesel heater. God, I hate midges. Poor old Kev's been bitten. I'll try and make sure they're out of the van before we go to sleep. I squashed a few last night. But you just don't know until they start buzzing around your bloody ear holes at two o'clock in the morning. Good boy. <laughs> this is a lovely little walk. Kiwi okay, loves it. Don't you? You like your walkies, don't you? Yes, you do. You still got that horse's hoof in your mouth. The horses that are stabled in the yard where Kev's workshop is had their new hooves fitted last week. So every time we come out, he has to nip round there and get the trimmings like that. And a friend of mine's got a a little dog and she bought him some antlers from their local pet shop and she said she loves them but I suppose they're made of the same thing as the hooves aren't they so I might try them on antlers we got him a pig's ear off the market once oh my god he was absolutely terrified of it so that ended up in the bin he wouldn't even go near it Believe how dark it is in here. Ooh, trees hanging over. What you got? You got your shoe? Where's your shoe? That's oh, there. Are you taking your shoe or are you leaving it till we come back? So far, so good. Nobody else here. Oh, he's picked it up. But... Kiwi, what you got? <laughs> Squeaky trees. months ago this field was flat. Now you can hardly see the, I don't know if it's a chicken farm or a turkey farm further on in the distance. Are you with us? I should be jogging this shouldn't I really? Ha! I don't have any trainers. Last time I learned, had a pair of trainers was when I was at, going to keep fit. I haven't done that for a few years. I should do really. Nice place for a picnic. Why don't you leave it there and pick it up on your way back? coat on because I thought I was going to get soaked because the big black cloud come over 
Now I'm sweating like a pig. Sorry, I'm glowing. Horses sweat. Was it? Men perspire and ladies glow. There's this little river here. You can sometimes see tiny little fish. I think they're like minnows. It's quite clear today. Normally it's very cloudy. Where are we going then, boy? The others I came down and there was two ducks swimming. Should we go this way? Oh, it's a bit overgrown. The trouble is there's bloody holes in the ground. I'd end up falling ass over tip. Where do you want to go? Now, Keb had his drone up a few weeks ago and we saw a big lake. It's over here somewhere. But I think we'd have to do a Google Earth to know which way to go. Now the last time we filmed this walk, these trees had big clumps in them that looked like nests. But we think it was mistletoe. But we can't see it now. It's probably grown in amongst all the other bits and bobs. All the primroses have died off now. I love primroses. Reminds me of when I was a kid. We used to, where we used to live in Yorkshire, we had ditches and the primroses used to grow wild in the ditches. <coughs> where are we going? Do you want to go on a bit more or do you want to go on this way? Which way? Which way are we going, Kiwi? I'm going this way. Where's your hoof? Where is it? He's dropped the bloody hoof now. Where did you put it? Hmm? We have to get another one when we go back. That's got blown. It was quite windy here the other day. Right, well we're on our way back now so I won't bore you with that trip as well. It's just nice to get out and about. Catch you later!